Hello there. We had some really vicious storms unleashed across the UK during Thursday. It was really as a result of the heat and humidity that built up ahead of the weather system sweeping in off the Atlantic. So we had some real extremes, 28 degrees Celsius in London, but nearly 30 millimetres of rain fell in an hour from those storms, resulted in widespread flash flooding and giant hail. And this was the satellite picture during the late afternoon to the early evening. You can see those storm clouds just erupting and moving northeastwards with all that humidity. But that will be moving away with those storm systems as we move into Friday. So cooler, fresher weather takes over. So we've seen a few thunderstorms rumbling on into the night across Northern Ireland and Scotland. Still a warning out for the Northern Isles for some really wet and windy weather here. We're not out of the woods totally for central northern Scotland and thunderstorms through the day today. But also some fairly wet weather still for Dumfries and Galloway. But the showers really elsewhere, not to the extent that we saw on Thursday. But a lot of clouds will greet us on Friday morning and still these bands of showers as well running their way across England and Wales and bringing with them the risk of interruptions at Wimbledon, giving some rain here. Fairly brisk winds as well, blowing those weather systems eastwards, some really strong winds, gales across at Shetland as well. And then through the afternoon, some slow moving showers through central and northern parts of Scotland particularly the northwest highlands. Elsewhere, well, temperatures considerably lower across the eastern side of England compared with yesterday, but enough perhaps to brew a few showers in central and eastern areas as well. Still quite warm, 20 to 22 degrees, but feeling fresher with the breeze. As I mentioned earlier, though, there's a potential for some light rain late morning, early afternoon for Wimbledon. That hopefully will clear away, but then we could have a shower, perhaps a smaller risk of interruptions from those showers into the afternoon. Come Saturday, the potential for some overnight rain across southern and eastern areas to clear away. Then it's really a case of showers along longer spells of rain, particularly wet, I think, again across the northern half of the country. The showers popping up and some thunderstorms further southwards and eastwards as well. And it's all because we'll have this area of low pressure anchored close by. So some strongish winds in southern areas, slow moving showers in the north. And then a brief ridge of high pressure for Sunday, bringing some relief from the showers in southern areas. But you've got the next weather system rushing in for the start of the new week. So Sunday looking a little drier across southern areas. Still a lot of showers and fairly brisk winds in northern parts. And temperatures, though, in the sunshine, 16 to 19 degrees Celsius, as you can see. But as I say, more weather systems run in for the start of the new week. So for Friday the weekend, it is looking cool and breezy. There'll still be some showers around despite some sunshine in between.